Hi guys, John here again with another tutorial for a custom build on Cody. This one is called the Specialist Build. It's uh, this particular build, the one that I'm going to show you how to install, is for Cody 17 Krypton. Now as you can see, I've already installed it. Uh, I'm just going to quickly show you through it and then um, we'll show you how to install it. So if you don't want to see what it looks like when it's all up and running, you can just skip ahead a few minutes and get to the good stuff on how to install it. But I'll just quickly run through. As you can see, it's got a nice little uh, space kind of theme. Uh, easy to see menu. Its menu is way down low. Um, it's apparently fairly popular at the moment. This uh, build too. So as you can see, and this movie's got quite a few good add-ons there. It just keeps going there. So it's good selection there. Go to movies, TV shows again. Got a selection of add-ons. As you can see, good selection of add-ons. 24-7 shows, the Wolf Pack, Live TV, a good selection of few add-ons there, Docs, Kids Zone, Sports, Fitness, Music, and then Add-ons, Favourites, and then Wizard, System, Power. So I'll give you a quick sample here. You know, it's not going to be any different really to, um, you know, the quality won't look any different. It's just, uh, it makes navigating it a lot easier. I'll just go down to people watching, just so you can guys have a bit of an idea uh, of what it looks like. Uh, we'll go to something which isn't in the cinemas, so it's not going to be cam quality. Um, I'll just select this one. So it's using Specto. As you can see, it's uh, pretty easy to navigate, just like uh, Exodus and every other one. Neat little loading screen there. So as you can see, the quality is fantastic, uh, but that's just an add-on. So it's uh, it's not a part. Of, yeah, it is part of the build, but uh, it's not going to affect the playback quality at all. So as you can see, this build has got something for everyone. It's got movies, TV shows, live TV. It's got documentaries and kids zones. No adult content, which makes it a perfect build for a family environment. Okay, so that's what you can expect from it. Now we might jump into actually installing it. Okay guys, so this is how you install the Specialist and Cody 17. Now if you've, um, the word is apparently you don't have to have a fresh um, install for this build, uh, but it's if you um, have decided to delete Cody and start from scratch, I'll just show you what we do. Uh, it has it has options in there to install from scratch or from a build uh, a version with files existing already. So from scratch first we have to do is hit the settings icon then we go to system settings go down to add-ons then across to unknown sources hit OK and select yes and hit OK. Once that's done that just enables installing of third-party add-ons from unknown sources. So we go back next we have to go to file manager select add source, highlight and select none, enter this URL, pause it if you need to, it's http forward slash forward slash www.thespecialist.xyz forward slash the specialist. Once that is done hit OK. Go to the box below it, if it hasn't got a name give it a name, it'll probably have a name, um, just if you want to change it hit, hit the box uh, hit OK, give it your name, once it's done come back to the main screen and then go down and hit OK again. Now that's done. What we need to do is now go back to the home screen, go to add-ons and hit the little open box up there which is the add-on explorer. Go down to install from zip file and hit enter 
and then we go to the specialist and hit OK. Then select repository to specialist zip. Just give it a, look, a few moments to install. We should get a notification up the top right hand corner underneath the time. There it is. Now we need to select install from repository. Go down to the special, specialist repository, program add-ons and then select the specialist. And then the bottom of the right hand corner, uh, bottom right hand corner of the screen is install. Just hit OK on that. This will just take a couple of seconds to download depending on your internet speed and the speed of their servers. Didn't take very long. The specialist add-on has been enabled. Now we want to go back and then go to program add-ons. I'm just going to dismiss this little pop-up and if you don't get these messages on your system, perfectly fine. Just ignore that and dismiss. Okay, now you should have this, so select the specialist. Now you'll see here we got a f quite a few different options and we need to go down and select the specialist builds. Now as you see we've got Kodi version, Kodi version 17, the specialist Krypton build which is what we want, the specialist build for 16.1 and some others. So we select 17, the specialist Krypton build v1.2. There we go. Now we go across to um, we got current build, the specialist Krypton version 1.2. Also have a couple of ones, fresh install and standard install. Um, I'm just going to select standard install or fresh install will delete the ring. So just select standard install. Would you like download and install? Select highlight yes install and hit OK. Now this is going to take quite a while to download, as you can see it's a 300 meg file. Uh, it should work, work on most devices, uh, some low end uh, dual core boxes and Fire Sticks may struggle but I believe they should work. Um, so I'm just going to let this download and I'll come back in about 5 minutes time and we should be ready to finish the installation. Okay guys, so as you can see that downloaded and installed pretty good and nice and quick. It's just um, installing it now. So far no errors. Uh, it's a fairly big build. Um, now once this is done, you will have to force close Kodi and then reopen it for the effects to take place. Uh, if you're using a Fire Stick or an Android box, that means pull the plug out. Give it 10 to 20 seconds, something like that, and then replug. Uh, plug it back in. Um, if you're on a PC, uh, you know, just uh, force close, it'll ask you, you just select OK, it'll close by itself. Uh, if it happens to be a tablet or phone, just turn your device off and turn it back on. Or if you want, you can even press the menu button and close the, um, close the app manually. Okay, so this is a little message I was just telling you about. To save changes, you now need to force close Kodi. Press OK to force close. Now, like I said, any other device, just close it however you need to do. But once it's done, you open up, it'll be brand new build. And here is the specialist. As you see, it's a nice little quick intro. And it's a nice, easy to see layout, as we've seen when I first, uh, at the beginning of the little guide. Okay, well, I hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful. Um, keep an eye out for more to come. Make sure you like and subscribe. We appreciate all the assistance that um, we get from you guys. It's, uh, it's a bit like saying thank you and a pat on the back. Really appreciate it. Okay, until next time, bye for now.